This is a demo about how you can migrate content from an old website to a complete new microsite using the Drupal NoteHive MCP server. And uh, yeah, everything is fully automated and I will go through in all the details what's going, uh, what's happening. So let's get started. So in the center, you see the NodeHive backend. NodeHive is a headless Drupal solution, full transparency. I'm the founder of the NodeHive headless CMS. Everything is fully open source. So what I demo you today is something you can also uh, do um, on your own using the NodeHive tools. Um, so yeah, this is the backend. You see there is no space and no contents yet available. Since everything is headless, this will be my front end. And you see here is no con content uh, yet available. And on the left, I have Claude Desktop open with a prompt, which I go through um, very quickly. But the goal is, um, actually, I want this, um, so NetNode, I'm also the founder of NetNode, a digital agency, and we do a lot of Next.js projects, and we have one landing page on NetNode.ch uh, about Next.js, but I, I want to expand that into a own microsite, and I want to reuse these base contents, and basically, based out of that, create a complete new microsite I can run on its own domain. And so I will demo that, how that works. So this is the prompt. You are a marketing manager and digital experts. You're helping me to implement a marketing campaign, especially focused on creation of a microsite. Your tasks, create the marketing and content concept, analyze the target audience, focus your customer needs, etc. Uh, build a site map, um, define the, the main conversion goal, uh, write content copy, then actually implement the microsite. You have access to MCP tools. Um, then this will be the base URL. This is the field structure. So here we will use markdown page. I already created that just to show that the markdown page is relatively simple. So it has simply the markdown content and the teaser field and the title. Uh, then um, it will also create a menu with the menu items, it will use images, and at the very end, it will create a summary and potential next steps to do that. So I will now send that, and then it will repeat it, and then I will actually write my uh, wish. I have this, and I want to extend it to its own microsite. Um, um, yeah, please create it. Um, yeah, so let's see what's happen, what happens. So I send that. I go back to the dashboard. Yeah, so now it's uh, getting some info from the website itself. So it basically copy pasted that, and now it's um, on the trying to understand the existing. NodeHive backend, it lists uh, stuff, so there is no space yet. Uh, then it's exploring the content type to actually understand the structure of the markdown page. Then it will do the marketing analysis. Uh, and then it will come up with a sitemap structure. Then it will create the page. So now I can already refresh it and you see now the Next.js expert microsite uh, space is already there, but there is not no content yet. But it already created the, the menu. So if I would go to um, menus, I already see that this one ex exists. Uh, where is it? Next.js navigation. Here we go. And then uh, it already started to create contents. Now if I go here to the front end, it's already showing the first contents here. I have to adapt the menu item, uh, the menu that it loads the correct menu in my .env. So this is the local Next.js site, so I have to define the menu item, and you already see it popped up here. 
And now let's see what the LLM is doing. So now it's creating the nodes. So uh, this is now Next.js services. Um, and then, um, yeah, created. So now I can refresh. Uh, let's see if I go to the detail page of that. Yeah, so now it's already showing the first content pages. Now the services page already appears here. Yeah, I'll say here if I refresh here, it's also updating. There are some issues with um, special characters or umlauts. All right, yeah, it's even uh, adding some uh, some demo code. I'm not sure if I want that. Yeah, obviously I can give much more context about what um, I want as a context. Uh, so my prompt was like two phrases, super simple. Yeah, but now it's creating um, the contents. By the way, um, just for um, demo reasons, I used a markdown page. Obviously, this can be any content type. It could even be paragraphs. It could be any data structure provided by Drupal, and it will work. It will just work. So now we have a, an additional page, or actually now it's still creating. It's creating a lot of content. So it's kind of, yeah, now uh, error updating. Oh, there seems to be an error. Ah, it tries to update. Oh, I think it was because um, it stopped the node creation before and then it thought the node 26 already exists. But you see, it's actually self-correcting. So stuff can go wrong. Even it could be uh, when you do it manually uh, as a human, you can also maybe save it and then you get misaligned, but it can manage it itself. So it understands if something goes wrong. So yeah, now it created an additional page. And then I simply refresh here on the front. So there is now the expertise page there, quite a large page. Yeah, and now it goes on and on. Uh, let's go through that uh, rather quickly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really creating a lot of content. But what I'm really amazed uh, is its capability to understand the MCP tools and yeah, basically self-organizing and actually understanding um, how to use it, even self-correcting, as I just um, said before. So with this use case I'm showing now, think about migrating an old page a website to a new one, to a modern headless solution with modern front-end capabilities. This is really, really mind-blowing. Obviously, the prompt I put there was not very um, sophisticated, so I certainly can work on that quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is what I actually wanted to demo. So, again, the page was very, very long, and it stopped. Uh, let's see if it created it. Yes, so next page is there. So process is now also available. Obviously, this is not a nice page. It's a demo page. We can build our own design systems and the AI will understand the different content structures, the structure content. And yeah, basically uh, we have everything we need to migrate super quickly uh, sites and also yeah, create complete new sites in a, in a, in a very, very powerful way. This is what I wanted to demo. Um, I'm blown away by the capability of the 
Drupal MCP server and our custom extensions for managing node hive spaces to build these microsites and also like larger big sites. I will publish con much more content about these topics. If you are a web developer, digital strategist, please consider subscribing to the Modern Web Architect YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, have a nice day and see you in the next one.